What's going on guys? It's Z here. We are here in this beautiful Martha's Vineyard house in where we Edgartown, I think. We're in Edgartown and there's Will and Eddie, the two cousins back there. Hi. Great day out in Martha's Vineyard. Really pretty out. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are you eating over there? Oh, I'm having the muffin right now. How was your uh, canoe or kayak trip this morning? Oh, uh, it's fun. You know, I have a nice little pool of water in my kayak. Yeah, so this morning we went out uh, kayaking in the ocean right around the coast. We put in around the, what is that, the Jaws Bridge. And we did about, I'd say a little over, what, almost three miles, 2.7 miles. Not much, but it was a beautiful little ride around. Um, not many waves at all. There was it was pretty flat most of the time. Will had some uh, little trouble because everyone kept bombarding him with some water. So obviously he was stuck in a boat that was pretty much about to sink. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like a little orange. Do a jump. Do a jump again. Oh my God. Oh man. Come on, man. As we just got back from Martha's Vineyard, I know it's been a little bit of a while since I last checked in with everybody, but we are officially back home. We're just unpacking the car now. I know I didn't get much footage when we were down in the vineyard, but I think that's uh, probably a good thing because I normally have the camera out all the time and we just sort of want to hang out with the family and sort of relax for those few days that we were there. But next year, hopefully, if we are going back up to Martha's Vineyard, I'll get a little bit more content. Nonetheless, I am home now and I wanted to just quickly talk about something that's coming up rather fast, which I will be covering all of. It is the Hawaii From Home Challenge. It's essentially a full Ironman that you can complete on your own. It's a virtual 140.6 miles. You could do it obviously all at once, which would be kind of crazy doing that all on your own, or you could do it pretty much throughout the week. I'm super excited for it, and I think that having to work every single day of the week is going to definitely pose a challenge to be able to stay on track and make sure I'm getting all my mileage in, but I do think that it's gonna help me in a way that it's going to push me to make sure that I am getting the workouts in. So let's just go inside and check out what I put together schedule-wise. All right, so let's get started. This number is how many laps I need to complete of swimming per day. This number is how many miles of biking I have to do per day. And this is how many miles of running I have to do per day. And all of this will allow me to complete 140.6 miles by probably around Saturday, if I had to guess, um, give or take. I This is sort of my estimate. If I go over 50 laps, if I go over 25 miles, if I go over 4.5 miles, which I probably will, um, maybe not towards the middle or the end of the week, but if I am averaging about these three distances uh, or laps, miles per day. Um, I'll definitely hit 140.6. I did just go through this just because I wanted to, like I said before, keep myself on track. Okay, so we are here with the Hawaii From Home Virtual Challenge. Like I said, it's running from October 5th through the 11th, 2020. It is not sponsored by Ironman in any way, even though this is sort of implying that it's Kona. It's the race that everyone wants to get to, which takes place obviously in Hawaii. The Ironman Foundation is not Part of this, it's just brought to you by triathlete.com. It is $55 for individuals and $40 for relay teams. It's really not bad at all. It's pretty inexpensive. Something that's also pretty cool is that all the prizes you're seeing right now are things that you could win throughout the week. So even though you're gonna be in the pain cave and sweating it up, you actually could possibly win one of these or many of these prizes if you are picked. Um, pretty much everyone that's registered is going to be entered into the raffle. Also being a virtual race, please note that you have to submit everything manually. You can't just do a workout or do a swim or a bike and then expect your Garmin to automatically sync everything with Strava and be done. You do have to submit everything to runsignup.com, which obviously is what triathletes.com is pairing up with to sort of manage all of the metrics and 
make sure that nobody is cheating and make sure people are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. But I mean, at the end of the day, it is an honor system. You are cheating yourself if you end up um, putting in false results. That's pretty much it. I think uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to doing this. I think it's going to be definitely a test of my personal fitness level at the moment as I'm trying to get myself back into shape. But everyone starts somewhere. I really encourage um, all athletes out there who are watching this video, definitely give it a try. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please remember to comment, leave me a like, and subscribe. I shall see you in the next video. Take care.